What is up guys, Tech James here. In this video we will be installing and setting up the low memory plugin on PS Vita. This also works on PS TV and basically what this plugin is, it lets you run two applications at the same time. Now the best way of kind of like explaining how this works is just to show you guys. So let's say I'm playing Minecraft. If you guys didn't know, this is quite a hard game to run on the PS Vita. It requires quite a lot of memory. But basically what this plugin lets you do is open two things at the same time and it can be quite useful. Maybe you guys want to like open your trophy app at the same time maybe you want to open up one of your messaging apps at the same time let me show you so I've got Minecraft open and let's say I want to open something else maybe music you know maybe you just got a new music plugin that I made in my last video on maybe you want to open trophies um, so yeah let's go ahead and open trophies look what happens when I try to open it it says you must close Minecraft if you want to use the trophy app. Now obviously I'm playing Minecraft and if I close it and open it again it just takes such a long time and it's really annoying. Minecraft is one of the longest games that I think that has a, like a really long start up on the PS Vita. It takes you know maybe like three minutes to just start this thing up which is a bit annoying. So yeah there's a plugin that you can install that basically just lets you enter the trophies app and you can go back and enter in Minecraft so we will be checking that out in this video. So I'm just going to close down everything. Obviously I will open up Minecraft later but what we actually need to get this is auto plugin now you can just install the plugin from the website but auto plugin is so easy and I'm pretty sure most of you guys have it anyway so we're going to be using this so what you want to do go ahead and open it up if auto plugin is not on the latest version make sure to go and update it so as you can see you must have the version 4.18 update for this to work so I'm just going to go and update mine now if you guys do not get the update what you want to do is connect your PS Vita to your computer via USB connection and you can drag and drop the VPK I do have a complete tutorial for auto plugin on my channel so if you guys have never seen this before make sure to go and check that out you can install it in a couple of minutes and get it set up very easily Okay, so once it's done updating, it's kind of just going to like restart itself and then you should be good to go. So what we actually need to do is just go into the plugin section. So we're going to go on plugins for Vita, we're going to press on the X, we're going to go to install plugins. Now you want to select your UXO or your URO using left and right. I use the URO, so I'm just going to stick with this and then we're going to look for it on here. So it is actually called the low mem mode plugin, stands for low memory. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and have a look low memory mode it's this one right here and I'm pretty sure this is the latest version so what we're going to do is we're just going to press X wait for it to install that's it we can press start to exit reboot our Vita and then it should actually be working so if your custom firmware isn't running go and run it obviously if you've got Enso that's no problem at all it should be running straight away but once I run this and exit out we can actually open up a game and we can test it now keep in mind you won't have this issue with every application, it's just big games above 77 MB. So let's just close out of this, let's go and find a game, I think I'm just going to do Minecraft again, I think that's quite a good example. So let's go and start Minecraft, it takes a very long time to get into a game of Minecraft, I don't know why, um, so obviously I'll just speed this bit up and then I'll show you guys how it works. Okay, so I'm just loading up a game. I think this was some kind of texture pack, so that might even be like harder to run. I don't know, but we're just going to open it. And then basically, the plugin should be working. We should be able to open two things at the same time. So obviously, we've got Minecraft right here. What we're going to do is we're going to close out. And last time, we tried trophies, and it didn't work. So let's see what happens this time. Trophies go and start it and as you guys can see it works and we don't get the error so this does work with other stuff as well if you guys saw my music video it will work with music um, and it does work with other stuff and let me show you like the multi is it called multitasking that's what it's called on iPhone right and um, yeah you can open up Minecraft and um, it's a very nice plugin I can see with music this is gonna work very nicely a few people did ask about that I think maybe not on my channel but definitely over on reddit and um, yeah so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one